Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley and today I'm just going to babble about a theory that I have. So recently I tweeted something that got a little bit viral. Viral is just like a 2000 likes, which is just pretty viral for me, I guess. And, and, and the tweet was about how Photoshop changed uh, how you scale proportionally. Uh, two years ago, they just changed it out of nowhere. Just for context, uh, for decades, if you wanted to scale proportionally in Photoshop and many other design tools, you had to press the shift key, shift key and drag, and then you scale or transform in a proportional way. Without the shift key, it would just transform freely, just like a, just like a stretch, for example. Two years ago, they changed that. Now the default, if you wanted to uh, scale freely, then you have to press the shift key, the opposite of what it was before. So the default was that it will scale proportionally. So this got a lot of people just saying, what? Why? And this is because we had been trained for decades to do it the other way. And then suddenly out of the blue, it's just like, nah, let's just do it this way. And by the way, this, uh, if you're here and you just want to know how to fix this last year, Photoshop added a way to actually fix this. So in the preferences, you just go to preferences, general, and then there's a checkbox that says use legacy free transform so so now you can actually turn that on and then it will go to the old way of doing it but here i'm i'm, I'm going to theorize about why they made that decision I, I have a theory and i think it's the right theory you have to think about this photoshop must be a huge team and adobe is a huge company and they obviously have big research team and they have a marketing team and then they decided to do this but why they decide to do this and i think it might be because they might be losing a lot of users to other tools. That's number one. They might be going to Pixelnator and Affinity and Sketch and, and other tools. And so a lot of their like legacy, let's call them that, users have been moving to other tools. Pretty sure that they're thinking about getting new users. So maybe their research is focused on that, on, on the new market and then the new designers and the new people that are coming and all of these potential new designers that have never used a design tool. I'm sure that they have heard of Photoshop because it's just like so ingrained in our culture. It, it, it's almost just like a verb, just Photoshop it. I'm sure that they say like, well, if I want to get into the creative field, I, I suppose I need to use Photoshop. So I'm pretty sure their research found when they, whenever they wanted to transform or scale something, I'm sure that they found that people found it weird that you have to press a modifier key, the shift key to scale proportionally. I'm positive of that because if you think about it, it is a really weird pattern because, and, and you're going to say, but, but no, but I've been doing it for decades. I've been doing it for so long. It's not weird. Yeah. We have been trained to do it that way, but that doesn't mean Mean it's the right way. I mean, usually modifier keys, you, you use them for stuff that is not as usual, for uh, advanced options, for something that is not going to be your default. And scaling proportionally, it's actually the most common way you want to scale something. When you, Whenever I'm, I'm transforming stuff, I'm usually trying to transform it in a proportional way. So it is weird that I have to press a modifier key to do that. So it actually makes sense that the default is just scaling proportionally. And then if I don't want to do that, I should be pressing a modifier key. And you're going to say, no, 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 no. But I've been trained for decades to do it the other way. What are you talking about, Pablo? But yeah, let me, let me put an example uh, uh, of a different pattern. For example, duplicating a layer. We know that if you want to duplicate, you can duplicate by dragging. You press the option key and you drag and then it duplicates, right? Now, imagine if the default was the opposite. The default, without a modifier key, you move a layer and it just moves, right? You just move it around. Imagine if we had been trained to do the opposite. That the default was that every time you move a layer, you just duplicate it. That will be so weird, right? And then if you actually just want to move it without duplicating it, oh, for that, you have to press a modifier key. Then you have to press the option key to not 
duplicate an element to just move it. That, that would be so weird, right? Well, I see that as an example of how modifier keys should be used. Duplicating an element with a modifier key, that is the right way to do it. Scaling proportionally using a modifier key? I don't think so. Default for forever, it should have been without a modifier key. So I feel now Photoshop is finding the new users that I'm pretty sure that they are finding this experience weird, but I feel like they didn't really do the research with their current existing users. The ones that have been using their tool for the longest time, we will get mad because now it's actually in every tool, every tool does it that way. And why, why does every other tool do it that way? Well, because Photoshop, Illustrator, they were the pioneers in this. They're were the ones that set the rules and now all the other design tools that came after that they just followed along about how photoshop did it so now other design tools doing it that way using that modifier key it's because they have been adapting of how designers are used to using the tool if you use another design tool that uses that same modifier key that's because they copied photoshop <laughs> So, and, and because we are used to doing it that way. So I just feel like they didn't measure like how their legacy users like me would just find it really frustrating and annoying. One of the most weird things too is that it's not consistent across their apps. If you go and open Illustrator, then in Illustrator, it is the old way. So whenever I'm switching between the apps, I'm just like, my mind is just like, it's, 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 it's having a, a mini breakdown because it's trying to adapt to the different patterns. And it's such a common pattern. I get frustrated because I do, I made the mistake over and over again. So what I'm poorly trying to say is that I think it makes sense that they made that decision, that they changed that. Because if they're trying to get new users, this is the way it should have been from the beginning. That should have been the default way of transforming and scaling things without a modifier key if you wanted to do it proportionally. I just don't think they measure or they didn't anticipate how people were going to react to this, to the current users. Anyway, they fixed it now. So they uh, they put that check mark that says, uh, go back to the legacy way. Legacy, that, that word just makes me feel old. But anyway, so it's fixed. And I didn't know about this. I just found out that you can fix this and now I'm making this video. Anyway, yeah, I would love to know your opinion. Well, what do you think? What are your theories? Uh, have you been frustrated about this change too? I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you so much and bye-bye.